In March 2017, archaeologists from the University of Ha'ed in the Spanish region of Andalusia were excavating in the ancient Egyptian city of Quetelhua. They had found a tomb from more than 3,800 years ago. The question was, had grave robbers been there before them, or would they find something of real significance? They were about to find out. The experts in antiquities were working in the necropolis of Quetelhua, which means Hill of the Wind. The cemetery of Quetelhua is set on the west bank of the River Nile, about 425 miles south of Egypt's modern capital, Cairo. The monumental burial site is located just across the river from the city of Aswan. This huge graveyard was where the rulers and other important people from the island of Elephantin were buried. Elephantin is on the Nile, and it's just 3,900 feet long and 1,300 feet wide. Almost 3,700 years ago, the island marked the boundary between Egypt and the Nubian Kingdom to the south. Elephantin's location on the Nile made it a significant commercial center as well an important defensive position and there were fortifications on the island. Today there are some important archaeological sites there, including a temple dedicated to Knum, the god of the Nile's source. The ancient Egyptians believed that Knum lived on Elephantin and had the head of the ram. They also believed that this powerful god created babies on a potter's wheel with clay. He then placed them in their mother's wombs. When the rulers of Elephantin died, their remains were taken across the Nile to the necropolis at Quetelhua, as were the remains of their family members and other important dignitaries. The senior members of the Elephantin ruling class had the most lavish graves while people lower down the backing order had simpler tombs. The necropolis consists of a series of magnificent man-made terraces by the banks of the Nile. Archaeologists have estimated that there are around 100 tombs of varying degrees of splendor at the site. Around 20 of those remain to be excavated, potentially providing exciting discoveries for many years to come. Speaking to website Live Science in 2016, one of the Egyptologists from the University of Ha N, Alejandro Jimenez Serrano, underlined the significance of the Quetelhua site. Quetelhu is one of the most important non-royal necropolises of ancient Egypt, he said, noting in particular the large number and intricate quality of the inscriptions carved on the tomb's external walls. The necropolis was mainly used to bury the highest officials of the nearby town of Elephantin, the capital of the southernmost province of Egypt, at the end of the third millennium and the beginning of the second. 2200 BC to 1775 B.C. Limenez Serrano continued, Archaeologists from the University of Ha'en have been working at the Quetelhua site for a decade now alongside colleagues from Egypt's Ministry of Antiquities. And they've made some outstanding finds. One came in 2016 when they uncovered the tomb of a woman called Satchini. Satchini was a central figure in the ruling elite of Elephantin with a network of familial connections. Not only was she the daughter of one of the island's rulers, she was also the mother of two children both of whom also became Elephantin leaders. Satchini's father was Saranput II, a governor of Elephantin. As was the custom of the day in the Egypt of around 4,000 years ago, Saranput II built a lavish final resting place for himself while he was still very much alive. The mausoleum includes some exquisite wall paintings. Satchini married another Elephantin governor, Ekub II. The union produced two sons, Amani Seneb and Hekub III, and they both went on to become rulers of the island in their own right. So she was a woman right at the heart of this ancient Egyptian dynasty of island chief. The mummified corpse of Satchini was interred in two coffins. Both were made from Lebanon cedar wood and although the outer casket had decayed, the inner one was remarkably well preserved. As Jimenez Serrano observed, this discovery shows that the local dynasties of the periphery of the state emulated the royal family, a kind of keeping up with the royal Joneses. So, with the discovery of Satchini's tomb, 
The 2016 excavation season was certainly a successful one for the Spanish archaeologists and their Egyptian colleagues. They could only hope that the 2017 season would be equally rewarding. And as it turned out, they did make an extraordinary discovery, one intimately linked to their find of the previous year. They came across a grave which had been completely untouched since it had been sealed up nearly four millennia previously. That's an unusual thing to find. Most graves have been plundered by looters over the centuries on the hunt for treasure. But this one had escaped the attention of the grave robbers. The tomb was that of a man called Shimei I, as the hieroglyphics on his casket attested. And this was the son of Kima, another elephantine governor and Sadathatep. Those two were also the parents of Sarenput too which of course means that Shimei was his brother, his younger sibling as it happens. That also means that Shimei was the uncle of Satchini, whose tomb was uncovered in 2016. Shimei's mummified remains, just like those of his niece Satchini, were encased in two coffins made of cedarwood. The tomb also contained burial items including ceramics and a set of wooden models of funeral boats and figures representing everyday life. The Egyptians believed these models would help the deceased in the afterlife. The mummy also had a colored cartouche, a kind of funeral mask made from layers of a material such as linen. The linen would be covered with plaster and then painted. Jimenez Serrano told the Luxor Times magazine in March 2017 that this discovery adds more data to previous discoveries of 14 members of the ruling family of Elephantin during the 12th dynasty. So the excavations at Quetel Hawa over the years have uncovered an extraordinary collection of tombs and mummies representing the family links of the rulers of Elephantin Island. And as Jimenez Serrano said, such a High number of individuals provides a unique opportunity to study the life conditions of the high class in Egypt more than 3,800 years ago.